What's up guys? Welcome back to another video of Life with the Allens TV. I'm Dorcas. I'm Mr. Allen. And we're excited to bring you all a different type of video today. So today we're doing a question and answer. We put out a poll on the other day for you all to send in some questions of, that you wanted to uh, know about us or get to know us better. So we got quite a few. Uh, I think they sent in some good questions. What do you think? Yeah, they did. They did. They did. Uh, I feel like y'all were uh, very interested to get to know us. So I guess we'll get started, get to the point, so you can find out a little bit more about the Allens. So you want to read the first question? Yeah, I can read the first question. Hold on, let me let you talk to you real quick. I'm drinking some hot tea. Y'all know I got this lingering cough going on. So I've noticed that anything that's hot, warm, is very soothing to my cough. And besides, I've gotten into drinking more tea here lately anyway, so that's what I'm drinking tonight. And so here's the first thing y'all will learn about me. I'm real particular about my hats. Did you really leave to go get the hat? Yes, I did. I was wondering where he was going. I this was feeling dude. naked. Fellas out there, if y'all know what I'm talking about, <laughs> hey. I'm feeling like, kind of naked. Why is he leaving in the middle I of I got a fresh cut because, of course, I own the barbershop, but I'm feeling kind of naked right now without my hat. <sighs> okay. Mr. Hat. Now, she was talking about what she was um, oh, yeah, what drinking. drinking. I'm drinking apple juice. Okay. I don't drink. That's another fun fact about me. I don't smoke or drink. I'm not drinking either, though. This I tea. didn't say you was. I was just saying. That sounds like a little shade or something. That wasn't no shade. I was just saying I don't drink. I didn't want nobody to look at this and think this was like some beer or something. It looked like, like some beer. That's what I'm saying. I don't mm. Oh, my goodness. Okay, y'all ready? Because I'm ready. Let's get this thing started. Fresh press. Fresh press, really? Yeah. Come on, let's get started. Got we, got a, we got a lot of questions. Got this from the yes, listen. I am so glad you guys sent in these questions. I got a question for y'all, though. Like, <laughs> <laughs> What's the question? Where did y'all get these questions from? <laughs> like, where did they... Like, don't get me wrong. I, I When I read the questions, I was looking at the questions. I was like, man, these are some really pretty interesting questions. Yeah, I feel like the questions are very diverse. and They it's, are. It's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be good. All right. So, so uh, let's start off with this question here. Um, how... You want me to read the question? <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? Okay, so question. Can we start off a little light? Goodness. Okay, then this is light. Okay. Here go a question. Somebody wants to know how long you had your locks. Oh, okay. That's an easy one. I have been locked for two years now, and I have micro locks. I don't have the traditional locks. I have the micro locks. Two years, and I'm enjoying it. Okay. Um, and me, y'all didn't ask this, but I've had my low haircut, um, all his life, all my life. Like I get the same haircut, no matter what is what fits me. Uh, and especially with, um, the profession that I'm in, just the more simple classic look to you me, know you that? just goes a whole, whole, whole long. Well, they, they didn't ask me, but I just wanted to add, that's a part B to your part A. Okay. okay. Come on. All right. Next. All right. Next. So, uh, okay. Where's somewhere that we have not been but would like to go? Mm -hmm. You answer that one. What you think? For yourself. Answer for yourself. Hey. Okay. So, for me, we, we have not been to Dubai. Okay. And that is somewhere that I would love to go. So if we got any travel agents out there, um, you know, uh, any pilots out there, uh, anybody who owns private jets, wink, wink, hint, hint. Really? And you know what? I used to want that. I think I've changed mine from Dubai. 
Like, I love the tropics. I want to go to like an island like um, Bali, the Maldives, somewhere like that. Take me somewhere tropical. I don't know. I'm kind of second guessing about going to Dubai. But that's just that's just for today. That may change tomorrow. So. Okay. Let me ask the next one. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, who pursued who? Ha! <laughs> you want to answer that one? No, go ahead. <laughs> I'll take that. Yes. I pursued him. <laughs> and I'm not going to elaborate. Next, moving on. No, no. The people want to get to know us. Well, we ain't got to, you know, we ain't got to tell everything. Okay, she pursued me. The quick version. And, yeah. I, and I answered back. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I think we answered that question in another video. So, go check out our uh, first Q&A video. I think we answered it in that video. Let's see. What is another one? Um... What do you guys do for fun date nights? Mm. What do we do? I feel like we're like laid back, chill people. We're not the type that just have to go, you know, do something extravagant. Like we can just go to a little, you know, restaurant, grab some fast food, come back and chill at the house. <coughs> um, we love going like anywhere by water like where we live is we have something called across the bay so we love going over across the bay um going places over there um i think we're pretty simple for fun day nights yeah don't you think what you like um uh, i like she said we just pretty much laid back um we we go places um Ooh, that's good food places um that's the thing Every time we go on a date, all he want to do is go eat. Like, well, let's do something else. Okay, listen. I'm a food person, okay? I love food. Okay? Capital L on the love food. So, you know, you take me to a good spot that got some good food or a good, good city with some good food, and I'm fine. I'm good. Okay. No problem. Okay. You can't. I mean, I can't be mad at that. I mean, hey. I'm a know. foodie too, so but still. But other than that, we like to do adventurous stuff too. Uh, What's the last adventure you've done? The last adventure I did, I think, was zip lining. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, when we went to Vegas, we, we did some zip lining. I forgot and about that. That was fun. Never zip lined before in my life. He did some zip lining. I stayed on the ground. Oh, well, yeah. I take that back. I had zip lining before. Yep, sure did. We went to this. Yeah. But um, this this last time was different um, because I had just came out of surgery. We'll talk about that on another show. Um, but I had um, just came out of surgery. I had a major surgery. And so I just wanted to do something um, really to just to just kind of uplift me and uplift um, how I was feeling coming fresh out, out that particular surgery. And uh, so I went zip lining and I loved it. I, yeah, I loved it's it. not for me. Not and at all, it, so. It, it was fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it, baby. Yes. You enjoy it. Don't worry, I'm gonna get you on that one day. We gonna see. Okay. I doubt it. <laughs> I'm very persuasive. Oh. Uh, Favorite movies and TV shows currently? I'm going to let you answer that one first. Favorite movies and TV shows. Right now, I am watching... What am I watching? I like stuff like Mad at First Sight. Uh, I'm watching Queen Sugar. Uh, what else am I watching? What am I watching? Um, I do a lot of Netflix uh, TV shows. And... My favorite movie would be what's my favorite movie? Love and basketball. Okay, yeah, I do love love and basketball. Yeah, I'll go with that. What's your favorite movie? Coming to America. Coming to America. I got you. See, I know you. I love Coming to America. I love. Uh, I like. 
I, me personally, I like action. Yeah. Um, action drama shows. What's that new show you watching? Um, goodness, we were just watching it Sunday. Was it Sunday? Yeah, the BMF. Black, BMF? Yeah, the Black Mafia family. And it's another show that you like, you've been watching. Um, Raise, the Raising King. Raising King. So he likes stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, I, I like don't... I like your typical uh, uh, action yeah. shows. Uh, I guess you can call them. Uh, we'll we'll use the term loosely gang, gangster shows. You know, gangster movies. Gangster movies with a lot of action. Now, me personally, I'm not a gangster, uh, but everybody has a you know past. But hey, I I, I like shows that kind of um, that I can relate to in yeah. a sort of sense. So, uh, and then I also like another part, another side to me is I also like uh, any like home improvement shows. Oh yeah, we are, both love uh, those. Are shows that expose uh, exp that expose you to like luxury living. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite channels uh, that I can watch all day is the AWE channel. Yes, and, they do um, have some good ones on there. Uh, my favorite, <coughs> my favorite show. Uh, or my favorite shows on there uh, is Behind the Gates. Oh yeah, Behind the Gates. Behind the Gates and uh, well, I said I said got a couple of Behind the Gates, uh, selling mansions, uh, selling yachts. Oh yeah. And uh, there's another. One. I think it's like Find My Luxury Home or something. This is like a good one. Who's the funny one and who's the serious one? I, let me answer that. Please do, because I want to know. Let me answer that. Okay, so I am more of the jokester yeah. type. I like, and, you know, Ooh. like to have fun or whatever. <coughs> um, I'm more of the silly one. She is more of the straightforward. She laughs, but here lately she only laughs at her jokes. Why are you trying to make people act like I don't have no sense of humor? Are you serious? You got a sense of humor? When is your jokes? We just gonna keep it on the surface. The question was, who's the, who is the serious one? Who is the, <coughs> what was it? Who is the serious one? Who who's the, the serious one? And who is the funny one? Okay, so you the funny one. So I'm the funny one. And I'm the serious. And she's the Let's serious. Let's just keep it on the surface. All right. We trying to have no issues tonight. Alright, so <laughs> next question is how do you have balance in your relationship? Hmm. I think that plays really well off that last question. Like uh him being the silly one, me being the serious one. Like when I'm trying to be too serious or if I'm trying to be, you know, too focused on one thing, he comes around and make me laugh or lighten the you know, the weight of a situation. So I feel like just that alone gives us balance and being able to, you know, just be diverse with each other. Right, right, right. That's that's the main thing, not being able to uh, glean off each other yeah. and, and take from take from one another. You know, like she said, when one is when she's you know, when she's being serious or when she's serious about something or really focus on something. Yeah. Then I'm more of the kind of break break the ice. Like, okay, we've been focused on this too long, man. Like, okay, can we get a smile? Can we do something yeah. that can kind of break the mood? And I think, uh, and then answering that question, <coughs> I seen another question on advice for newlyweds, oh, and okay. that that we can, I guess, we can feed kind of feed that question um, by saying, you know, basically being able to have a balance, you know. Um, being able to be versatile with each other, uh, being able to have fun with each other, and not being so uptight. I mean, you know that we're not the same identical. Right. And we know that we're made, we, we're made up of different elements of what we like, what we don't like. And so being able to check and balance that with each other, Ooh, yeah, to know what, to know what, you know, what makes one tick, what makes one, you know, smile, what makes one laugh, what makes one cry. Mm -hmm. And when you learn those elements, it, it, it makes it it makes it just that much easier to be a part. I feel like my advice would be to new boys will be communication, be honest with each other. Oh yeah. Like talking 
is super important because you're not a mind reader. You you don't know what the person is thinking or feeling unless you communicate that. So I feel like communication is super big um, in a marriage, in a relationship, whether you're uh, a newlywed or whether you've been married 15 years like us. So communication is key. I think that's a major, major thing in marriage, which along with a lot of other things, but communicate. That'll, that'll be your first, a, jump, a good jump starter. Good jump starter. Communication. Like communication. Oh, okay. I seen one I wanted to read. This is a really good one. I think you're going to like this one. Okay. All right. So, who does the cooking? <laughs> Me. I do the cooking. I, okay. I do majority of the cooking. Okay. He can survive. We can survive if we needed to, if he had to cook. Listen. But. I have 101 recipes for ramen noodles. Okay. You can survive off that. You you can do more than survive. When last time you cooked ramen noodles though? For us. The people didn't want to know how they oh, didn't okay. want to know. I mean, just yeah, tell the people the truth. I mean, they want to know. We tell them who do we <coughs> cook it. Okay, well, I do you the cooking. Cook now, another part to that is the reason why she does the cooking because I was banned from the kitchen years ago. No, you're ago. not. You, You've been holding on to the same sad story. Yeah, because it crushed me. You are not banned from the kitchen. Let's make it be known <laughs> right now. You are not banned from the kitchen. So we're holding on to that story. I can fix cereal. <coughs> I can fix juice. Get some water. You know, some crackers. Some ice cream. I don't understand. It skipped him. His dad is a, a whole chef. But it skipped him. So I don't understand. He wasn't paying attention at home. Listen. Or what? what type of work do you do? Me? I am a salon owner. And cosmetologist, I do hair, so that is my main job. Um, what about you, Mr. Allen? So for me, I am a, of course, I'm a um, entrepreneur. So he's a serial entrepreneur. People ask all that. Oh, okay. people ask. <laughs> They asked what you did. They asked what I do. All right. So, uh, when I own a barbershop, I own a barbershop called Opulence Grooming Lounge. Uh, then I also own a chauffeur and limousine service, which is red carpet chauffeurs and limousine. And that's it. You said I was a serial. He really is. There's a ton of things. He does pretty much has been in every career there is, I feel like. And he he has more than that. That's his main. Those are the main two. Yeah. So we're both entrepreneurs. And um, I'm proud of it. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people have asked us how we got to that point And one day we'll have to, uh, one of these um, they would do a video on that, um, but basically, um, we just knew it was something that you know we wanted to do. And, and, and for me, I worked nine to fives. I worked um, what I like to call commercial jobs, working for someone else. Corporate jobs. Corporate jobs. That's it. Um, and so, and I worked. They were upper management jobs. So, in working in those type of, you know, working in those type of fields and trying to be a, a business owner myself, uh, I knew eventually I was gonna have to process myself out of that. So that's why, that's how we got to where we are uh, now with both of us being self-employed. Someone snagged the man of their dream. So I guess that's a question for you to ask. I mean, my first, first thing had in my mind was, um, I won't work on snagging the man of my dreams. I mean, even though, we just told you that I pursued him, but it wasn't a situation where I was just like looking, 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 looking for my person. I really wasn't, you know, I was, I, we were really young when we met 
And so I tell him that, you know, it was kind of like a, a prank, a joke, you know, that I was doing with a friend of mine saying, I bet I can get him. I bet I can pull him. And, you know, it turned into like our love story. So, but as far as snagging a man, I would just say focus on yourself. Come and hold yourself. That way when it when it's your time, when that time is right, and when your person finds you, they'll see you and find you. You all have children and have you lived in Alabama all your life. So I guess I think a couple people asked us about do we have children? No, we don't have children. <coughs> we don't have children. We just have our puppy Max. And yes, we have lived in Alabama all of our lives. And I'm sure people want to know, are we gonna have children? Do we wanna have children? But you might as well go ahead and answer that question. Um Do you want children Max? Yeah, uh eventually. We want kids. You know you can get no younger. I know that. Eventually, we want kids, and eventually, if you know, if God see fit, we'll have. Them. Yeah. So we're kind of at that point. You know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, we're That's good. We are. Okay. You know, we're just enjoying each other. And yes. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm look, looking up. I'm watching a video. <laughs> uh, next question: How the you and your husband meet Meech and Monica and how long have we been friends? We have known the Kogers for many. We met, how did we meet? I think it was through a mutual friend and that's how we met through a mutual friend and then we here recently, actually my puppy or our puppy Max brought us back together so and it's been up since then, so that's how we met the Cougars. Yeah, and it's been fun. It's been yes. nice. Yes, I love, love, love them. Those are our people. So who was friends first? I believe it was me and uh, Monica. Me and Monica met, and then you and Mitch met. Yeah. <coughs> In that order. Yeah. <laughs> and it's been on ever since, man. Uh, the Cougars are some really good. They real Cougars. Cougars. I'm sorry, the Cougars. Are some real, real nice, genuine people, and I believe uh, if if you want to refer that back to uh, some questions we had about relationships earlier, uh, and that was you know meeting good friends that have some of the similar traits that you have kind of preserved. Listen, get like-minded people, hang around like-minded people, whether it be friends, married couples. Make sure you got people that match your energy match your match your space match your relationships and you and you'll be okay like i said the Cougars are some real nice wonderful people man um we hang out with them periodically occasionally getting to be pretty regular and i love them.